What's going on guys? We're back. But today we got something a little different. So we already got the car jacked up on jack stands. We already got it jacked up. We got uh we got some big work we're gonna do here. We got the life from Harbor Freight right there. We're gonna get that thrown up here on the hood. And uh today we're gonna be throwing in uh some crazy well not this video, the following video. We're gonna be throwing in cams. That's right. Stage three cams from Brian Crower. Um, we're gonna be camming the car, and uh, we were gonna do the downpipe test pipe. It's freeze. It's not really that cold in here. We got a heater, but it's like it smells weird. So we're gonna throw in the downpipe and the test pipe. But uh, after some thinking and some researching, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier when I pull the head off the Evo. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to pull the head off and then just get back there to the turbo and stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna be pulling that off anyway, so it'll be easier to do that all together instead of uh, d struggling with the downpipe now and then being like, wow, I'm taking the head off anyway. So yeah, here we are. Trying out this new setting called Cine Style on this camera. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, here she is, jacked up. Let's get started and uh, let's uh, start taking this thing apart. So uh, first things first, we're gonna take, we're gonna drain the radiator, we're gonna drain the oil, and then after that we're gonna pull off the valve cover or this engine cover, upper intercooler piping, and then uh, probably the spark plug. But we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and drain this ray, uh, drain the oil, and drain the radiator really quick. All right, and to remove your engine or your coolant, there should be a wing nut on your radiator. Uh, on this left side right here, there's a wing nut. You loosen that, you'll bring out the coolant. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. There you go. No guys, there's, there. I'm sure it's not low, it's just, um, uh, uh, there's pressure built up, so you have to remove the radiator cap to let it flow better. You see? Whoop. Where is it? Oh. So it flows better once you take the radiator cap off, because there's less pressure or whatever. So once you start doing that, you want to let all that drain out. Uh, how's the engine oil looking? Snap. Boom. There it is. Uh, after that. We're gonna go ahead and come up here, let all that drain. We're gonna start by removing this cover off. Just throw it up there. After you take that off, you wanna take this shroud off, and then uh, we'll be able to get to the rest of the intercooler piping, I'm sure. And then uh, start taking it apart, cause this is not, I'm sure it's not gonna be easy, but it definitely might not be too hard. But then again, what do I know? I work on Toyotas. So uh, let's get this going. Let's remove this upper intercooler piping. Spark plugs, we're gonna leave them in. We're gonna take the coils out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's making the radio, it's, it's draining, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right, let's get to it. I'm gonna throw this with the drain plug right here. Boom, shout out to Snap-on for sponsoring this video once again. Uh, let's go ahead and take these off. Like when I pee. Let's get these bad boys. Alright, let's go. Take this harness out the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. So if your car is like, you know, how old is it? How old is my car? It's an 08, so this just broke. So, not to worry, we'll just get new ones. So, you know, just squeeze the little clips on this side. Boom, that's out the way. This, you pull up on it. Anyway, let me get to it. I'm done talking, I'll show you guys what goes down here. I'm gonna turn the heater on. It's gonna be really loud, so I'm gonna, you know, no audio, really quick, uh, fast forward. And let's get to it.
guys, so we went ahead and took off the intake. I got that upper intercooler piping off. So after that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start pulling off the uh, fuel rail. And in our case, everything we're taking off, we're basically replacing. So like the intercooler piping, the uh, fuel rail, the injectors. So when we put this thing back together, hopefully, we'll have new injectors, we'll have a new fuel rail, we'll have the new intercooler piping. And uh, there's a little something we're gonna be taking out. You gotta watch the next video because there's gonna be two parts to this, but there's a little something we're gonna be pulling out the back of this engine because we're gonna be putting something in. But anyway, let's get on to it. We pulled off the intake. We're gonna go ahead and pull off the fuel rail if you come uh, over on this side. I'm gonna show you what bolts you need to take off. Uh, so to pull off the fuel rail, um, we're gonna go ahead and take off a couple of these bolts, right? Right. We're gonna pull this. This, um, this is for the PCV. I'm gonna pull that hose off. So pull that off, and then just pull back on it. Boom. That's off. You can move that out your way. Uh, once that's off, there's this hose going to. I'm guessing a fuel pressure regulator or something like that. Uh, don't quote me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so looks like there's a bolt holding it to the intake, and then there's a bracket holding it to the intake. And then there's this little hose. We're gonna pull that all those off. And uh, yeah, so that looks like it's a 10 mil, maybe. That's a 10 mil. Take that off. You know, organized because you know. Apparently, I lose so many bolts in these videos. Uh, 12 here, 12 under that hose. We're gonna go ahead and pull that off. Uh, let's, see. let's take that off. <laughs> Or if we can't take it off, but uh, so yeah, let's continue taking this off. Take all those clips off, all those connectors, all those 10 mil bolts, this bracket here, and then uh, you should just you should just be able to pop off your injectors with the fuel rail. So, oh, 
this whole mess. All these connectors. Remember, these can only, these only, like, they all just go into one spot. So don't worry about, oh, I don't know where it's going to go. But don't quote me on that. We'll find out together. So that's your harness, basically, out the way. Just stuff it out on the side. After you get that done, this hose, uh, that won't be a problem. This is loose. Uh, we're going to loosen this up, this 10 mil that's holding this bracket in. That's loose. Uh, after that, uh, we should be ready to pull the fuel rail. If we just tug on it a little bit. Actually, we need to disconnect this hose here. And to disconnect these fuel lines, you take a little flathead and then you just pry on the back side like so and you just twist back and forth. You see how it clipped out? You probably didn't see, but anyway, you, you come in this way and then you just twist the screwdriver back and forth until that pops right out like this. And then you should be able to just disconnect this line. And like I said, you will be getting fuel. That kind of snuck up on me. All right, that's your fuel line right there. We're gonna stuff that back behind here so we don't make a mess. Uh, what else, what else, what else? It's getting pretty loose. I'm pretty sure something's holding me back though. I don't know what. I'm gonna take this hose. I'm actually gonna take the PCV hose out. If it lets me, what the? I'm not taking it out. That's probably gonna break. So let's see here. We got this hose off. If we could take this off, that would have been great. But uh, actually, we probably we're probably gonna need to take that off. Let's see. Make sure all these hoses are loose. Make sure you can get this hose behind the fuel rail loose, and then uh, we'll get back to you once we throw that or we take that off. All right, guys. Yeah, but it's been on for a while. Anyway, all right guys. So we got the intake manifold bolts off, or at the end, the uh, fuel rail. So the fuel rail goes there, 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 and there. And usually you just put your finger, your your fingers on the valve cover and then just push out. And then they just pop out. You will spill, f spill fuel. Uh, then after that, we went ahead and took off the uh, bolts. There's one, one in there. There's one in there, and then there's one in there, and then there's brackets. There's two brackets. There's one that you have to take the throttle body out, and you have to get that is somewhere down there. Oh, right there, somewhere down there. And then after that, you take two bracket bolts off. Uh, oh, actually, here you can see one of them. I just took it off at the bracket down there because it's easier than taking it off on, on the intake. And then there's another one down there that I haven't taken off yet, but as you can see, it's already coming loose. So we're going to go ahead and take that apart and then we'll get to the hard part which is taking the timing cover off uh, and the oil pan we're going to have to take off. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take this manifold off and then uh, we'll continue. Alright guys, so we got an, a little update. A little update. I know this has been an, a little shorter video because I don't want to bore you guys and show you guys, oh this is bolt here, this bolt's that. I'm going to basically show you guys what we have to take apart to get to where we're at right now. Intake manifold is off. Intake manifold is off. Intake is off. Blah valve is off. You have to take all these things off to uh, basically get to where we're at. Took the intake manifold off. You have to bend the dipstick a little bit because uh, there's like no space. There's a bracket there that goes to the intake that holds on to the intake. Uh, throttle body. Have to take it off. Don't lose the gasket. Where is it? Right here. There's a gasket that goes on that. Make sure not to lose it. Uh, fuel rail off. Uh, fuel rail is right here. Injectors are right there. Uh, so yeah, um, basically that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, we're going to make this into a, uh, parts, oh, I'm not blind, you guys, into a part series to where, uh, there's a pair of part one, part two, part three, because, uh, we did order retainers, springs, titanium retainers, titanium springs, all that, all that cool stuff, stage three cams, uh, ARP head studs, we're going to show you guys how to do those too, um, 
intercooler piping, maybe bigger turbo. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We're basically going as time goes by because uh, we want to upgrade everything as we go. We don't want to throw in a fuel the the OEM fuel rail and then a week later, well, and then a week later we just change it out. So uh, we're gonna do bigger injectors, obviously fuel system, and uh, hopefully have it on dyno by spring, maybe summer. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next part. Uh, leave a like, subscribe because we're getting quite. Uh, High views, but we're not getting no subs. What's going on, guys? So subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.